Hey, it's Johnny from Chicago South SEO. I am going to quickly help you answer the question, can I use images that I find on Google on my website or in my print publications? The short answer to that is maybe. The long answer is that you can provide that you've gotten permission. Let's do a quick example. I'm going to type in the phrase red high heel shoes. I'll click enter. Google will bring back uh, basically a set of results. What we're going to do now is we're going to navigate to the images section and it's going to now perform a search where it's showing only pictures of red high heel shoes. So let's go ahead and click that. And when we do that, Google returns just numerous or endless pictures and images of various red high heel shoes. Now, as I said before, you cannot just click on one of these and save it to your machine and start using it in a print publication or on your website. Now, you may, may be wondering why. Well, let's explain it again. That is uh, basically stealing. It's a copyright violation. In, in, in most cases or in all cases these images are linked to someone's website that means that they more than likely own that image and if you go out and you use it and you don't get their permission you've just created and you, you've just committed an image copyright violation and that can get you sued at the very least that user or the person that owns that website can make you remove the image at the very worst that person can sue you so don't do that but let me show you a really quick way that you can find images on Google that you can use because there are quite a few images that are out there some are not the best but you can search for them and you can use them provided you in most cases give what's called an image credit which basically means that somewhere on your website or on your publication you have to basically say hey this is where I got this and you're basically just giving them credit for using their stuff now one way you can find images that are uh, uh, what's called public domain or royalty free is to come to the right here and you can do an advanced search and you can just click on this what looks like a little sprocket wheel or gear and then you can come down to advanced search click on that once and then what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring you to the advanced image search section then you're going to want to nail you want to come down to the narrow your results section and you're going to come all the way down and you're going to look for usage rights now what this basically is is where you can perform a usage rights filter and currently we're not doing any kind of license filter but we can click on this down arrow and we can select free to use or share there are different levels for filtering that you can select if you want to know more about those you can click on the usage rights filter there's a link here and that link will take you to a page that will kinda of tell you uh, and help and, and explain what each level of filter does let's come back to our example we're going to filter on what's called free to use or share now we'll go back to what that basically means and that says your results will only include content that is either labeled as public domain or carry a license that allows you to copy or redistribute its content as long as the content remains unchanged so basically these are images that you can use so I've I've, I've selected free to use or share in my filter now I'm going to click on advanced search and what that's going to do is that's going to return a list of images that you can in fact use providing that you adhere to any license use or terms of use from that website or that you gain permission so remember this is the only way that you can use pictures you've got to first check and see whether or not you can use them if you don't do that you may be violating an image copyright law and it could get you sued well hey this is Johnny from Chicago South SEO I hope this tip has uh, been helpful. If it has, do me a favor, go to my website, join my mailing list, or at the very least, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or G plus us. Take care and have a great day.